Hey guys, welcome to That Pedal Show. Dan here. Mick here, hello. Some very tasty swingage there, Mr. Taylor. Thank you very much. Nice sounds, don't you think? Very, very nice. <laughs> um, so a few months back, we did a show uh, on rat pedals and that whole lineage um, made famous by the Proco rat in its various forms over the years. I happen to have one here. There you go. Um, we were mightily impressed with this, the Jam Pedals Rattler, which is by no means a clone, um, and it just really blew our minds. We know the guys at Jam, we know they are decent people and they do good things. We've met Yanis and the crew a couple of times at NAMM. Um, so we thought, do you know what? Why don't we do a limited edition TPS run? We do it from time to time on stuff that we really like. Uh, it helps fund the show. Uh, they'll be available from that pedal show store, more details of which at the end. Yes, so jam pedals are based in Athens and Athens isn't a million miles away from us uh, in the UK. So we thought we would head over there for a couple of days and see the operation and see these being put together. Yeah, it was a really surprising trip, the lengths they go to to make the pedals. Uh, you'll see that in the film that follows. Not quite sure how, but I think we've been driving for nearly two hours. I picked Simon up at about quarter past midnight and uh, yeah, two hours. Maybe we're in a space-time continuum on our way to Athens. <laughs> anyway, yeah, what idiot would book a flight at 5.35am from Gatwick when you live in the southwest of England? Hello. This is an utterly ridiculous time to be getting up. It's 20 to 2 a.m. I've just gone to get a pebble out of my shoe and I realize it's in my sock. So that's how I'm starting my day. It's not the first time I've had a drink at 3.43 a.m., but it is the first time I've had my first drink at 3.43 a.m., so cheers. Flight's been delayed 25 minutes. I shan't have another drink until this evening in Athens, but uh, a nice refreshing Hendrix with cucumber before breakfast. This could, this could, yeah, I could do this. Here we are then, easy jet. Thank God he's not right there. To, to be sat on an aeroplane at 6 a.m., it seems feasible that some sleep was possible. No sleep. No. We suffer for our art. Cabin crew, that's boarding complete. We have, I'm um, pleasantly surprised we are too. So this is Yanis, uh, Jam Pedals is his creation. You'll hear him talking a little bit about the history of the company uh, over this, but thank you so much for having this, is totally cool. Thank you for being here. Uh, and you're gonna show us around, and sure. show us what we've got, so. So this is our show. Uh, we exhibit here some of our custom shop uh, lines, our custom multi pedal and our limited edition pedals over there, the fast race and the roosters. This is so naughty. <laughs> <laughs> There's a zipper so you can see the inside of Woo. the pedal. <laughs> Hello ladies! Hello ladies! I don't even it's just it's too naughty. <laughs> of course that's our jump pedals wall, painted by the whole team. Have you seen the Jimmy Hendrix cloud? Ah oh, stop <laughs> it! Man. And this is my private collection of uh, vintage pedals. You recognize most of them, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a couple. The, it's a, the Italian Fuzz and Sustain, mm -hmm. which I'm assuming is a Yeah, the gem. It's a great pedal. The and Italians did a great job with that. This one. May I? Yeah, of course. This is this make? It's a very rare pedal. Oh, that is, that is rare. Amazing. The diphthonizer. I started uh, making pedals back in 2005 
I started as a hobby, I started making the pedals for personal use and uh, I really liked the procedure and uh, I felt very creative. People and friends that uh, tried my stuff suggested that I should do this professionally, so that's how it started. This is how it's being made. Uh, this is one part of the workshop. Yeah. This is uh, Jimmy and this is George. Hello, Jim George. Uh, George. Uh, Jim is hand selecting uh, NOS uh, OC44 transistors, the military oh, version. Oh, nice. We got uh, great feedback from artists that uh, are using the pedals. Uh, from the magazines and here we are now in 2019. The Jump Pedals team is consisting of 12 people working here and uh, we're selling all around the world. German transistors yeah. are paying the ass as you know, so you yeah. have to measure each one for, well, for leakage and... Uh, if you look inside your first face you'll see two of those if you're lucky. These are very rare transistors, it's from the 60s and it's the military version of do you do a treble booster with those? Yeah, the treble booster is using the same transistor. <laughs> when I started making pedals, it was all me. I even painted the pedals using the Pollock technique, just throwing colors and improvise with the result. Everything was and still is made by hand. We drill the boxes in-house, we paint everything here. We use through-hole components and we make the PCB boards here. So you flow everything in-house. Mm -hmm. So there's no surface mount going on. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. See this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, flow solid. Flow solid. Flow that is so cool. And so you drill everything and you spray everything here as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. uh, and here is the assembly. When we had the prototype for the Rattlers through and all the, mm -hmm. the new stuff, we were opening it going, oh my god, you know, who does, who does boxes like this? Yeah, we do it this. I mean, <laughs> we, we take them uh, like this, right? If you've ever um, bought, procured, designed any packaging, you'll know that going from a very basic box to something like this is like vertical cost going up, isn't it? So I just love it. I love, I love the attention to detail. Uh, oh wow! It's six pedals in one. It's a custom. Oh, oh, very nice. nice. Yeah. The oh, yeah. I hope you charge a tremendous amount of money for them. <laughs> We charge them less than we should, yeah. comparing to how much work yeah, is involved, yeah, right? Yeah. I have to show you one that we finished yesterday, okay. a big one. Let me bring this, it's mm. great pedal. So this is uh, about eight pedals in one box, plus a boss tuner. The detail on this is absolutely incredible. Boy. Uh, I wonder what's in this box here. Just found something see, see, see. quite exciting, Dan. Oh. <laughs> can we touch these? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can touch. How amazing. That is beautiful. What an amazing finish. The detail in that is just it's really beautiful. It's stunning. So it's either lake apple orange or can, candy flaccid orange. Candy flaccid candy orange. Flaccid orange. <laughs> candy flaccid orange. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> mine's blown. Mine's blown. I think that candy flaccid orange. Candy flaccid like orange. It's perfect. looking really nice. It's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Um, Let's go upstairs so you can yeah. see the, the rest of the process. It's like a really Willy Wonka of pills. Good luck with this, Simon. What's health and safety like in Greece? For me, the, the pedal is like an instrument, so we felt that it had to look 
as good as it sounds. This is the custom shop room. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm sorry. How's it going? <laughs> wow. Oh, that's amazing. That's beautiful. Look, look at that. How long will this take you to do? Uh, actually, this one, because it's a little bit, you know, there are many parts on it. I think it's one day. That's too cool. Thank you. Some, cool. Uh, John Eichenbach ones. Oh, wow. wow. It's so cool. And I just, I love the way that it's incorporated into the pedals and that sense of you know individual art is kept yeah and how you guys can do it on a production but basis you, is always yeah well, how because, you guys value it value it to the point yeah yeah, yeah. we're well, not good at correct it's, it's not, not correct very, i mean with the, yeah, the akimbach ones we charge them plus 30 euro or something yeah what? No. That is plus chance. 40 or plus 50. I mean, it's... Oh, we need to have words on. Because we, we do yeah. want people to buy yeah. them. I, we don't yeah, want no, to I understand. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, now you need to shut up now. <laughs> <laughs> so 3D printing, and um, Yanis was just telling us that they built this machine and they 3D printed the parts to build the, the 3D machine. Printer. So this is the, the source material, right? Yes. And that gets fed in there and it just... It melts it. it and... yeah. And it makes... <laughs> layers it. Oh, no. I know 3D printing's been around for a while, but to me and Dan, it's like... Well, to me, it's literally like... Science fiction. <laughs> <laughs> we would probably say this in somewhere else in the video, but it's worth saying how rare it is to see all that stuff being done in-house. Yeah. You know, right from drilling boxes through the painting, through the assembly, stencils, you know, a lot of that stuff will be shipped out in most companies. Mm. Which is not to say that it's wrong to do that, but it is to say it's very unusual to see it all done in one place. Yeah. Okay, Dan, give us a bow. Is that me? Oh, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, 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 yeah. What year is this? Ooh. 61. Oh. Well, it's the same as mine. Except mine's a little bit older. Older? But yeah. this is the first year, I think. Yeah, but this has got the eight screws. Whereas mine's okay. the same. Okay, you're the expert. <laughs> um, but only, but this is the same, same guitar as mine. Yeah. Is this a valve television as well? Yes. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Oh man, wow. Wow. Look. All the love tone stuff. Yeah. This is my pedal board. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a pedal board, it's a fingerboard. Check this out. This is the EMS Synfy, AKS, 
the first analogue synthesizer with sequencer, the one used by Pink Floyd to make on the run. So you can play the sequencer. I don't remember it correctly. I want to show you how on the run by Pink Floyd was made. But so it's. happy that you guys uh, loved our Rattler and uh, you asked to make this 100 limited that pedal show edition. We chose a really unique artwork, the House of Color technique. Some of the best, most expensive motorbikes use this uh, technique and these colors. So then we will apply the stencil and the white color to make the, the artwork of the pedal and your TPS uh, logo and then at the same time we make the PCB boards using uh, carbon copper resistors and the NOS chip, the LM308. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Do you have one? <laughs> <laughs> wow.
I found the whole trip and I found those guys inspiring beyond words. Uh, just really great people. But man, yeah. just to see how they, from start to finish, the whole process, everything gets done under one roof. You know? Really cool. Oh, it's so, Exceptionally so cool. cool. Uh, to wit, there will be a hundred. Um, they're going to be available on the That Pedal Show store. We will release some information to patrons first, so you'll have a little head start on this, but they'll be generally available on the That Pedal Show store towards the end of July. Uh, there'll be plenty of stuff on social media about it. Yes, very proud moment. Very, very proud moment. Uh, cheers, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. See ya. Bye. Bye.